Okay, so far we've got the force on a charge due to only one other charge. But what happens if you have not just two charges, but you have three or even four or five or six or any number of charges? How in that case would you get the force on one of the charges like this one, Q1, due to all these charges? And we're going to write the force on charge one as F1. Okay, so let's try and think about this experimentally. Experimentally, you can remove all the other charges and keep charge two only and get the force on one due to two only. And you'll get some vector. So this, is, this can be done experimentally. And take away all the charges and keep only charge three <coughs> and measure experimentally the force on one due to three. <coughs> and this force will be called F31. The second index is the force is the charge that you're getting the force on and three is the force is the charge due to due to which charges okay and then you can do the same with charge four remove all the other charges and put only charge four so you get then the force on one due to charge four only okay and then you can do another experiment by putting all the charges at the same time and in that case you will measure some vector which represents the force on one when all the charges are present. And then you can do this experimentally. And then you can come and see what's the relationship between these three vectors that you got before and this vector that you got when all the charges were there. You'll find a very simple relationship between these forces. The force on one due to two only, plus the force on one due to three only, plus the force on one due to four only, it will equal to the force on one when all the charges are present at the same time. And this is called the principle of superposition. And it's, as I said, it, you, can ex you can verify this experimentally. And that's the th then the theoretical way we can find the force on one charge due to many charges. Notice that you have to do this addition vectorially. You're adding vectors here. So you have to know how to add vectors. When you add vectors, you add the I components together, you add the J components together, you add the K components together to get the total sum.